Hello everybody, my name is Trisha and I'm an illustrator and pattern designer. Today I'm going to be walking you through one of my favorite ways to create by combining traditional and digital media to turn these blobs into things. And in this video, we're going to be turning these blobs into cats, which makes me very happy. We're going to start with an overview of my process, and then the rest of the video is going to be pretty relaxed, so you can just sit back, relax, and enjoy the cats. To start with, I used a wet-on-wet -wet method with some gouache on watercolor paper, first creating shapes with the water and then letting the paint bloom into these really neat colors and textures. Once the paper is dry, I scan it in at 800 dpi. The standard dpi for printing is 300, so by scanning it in at 800, I can resize relatively small traditional elements and still make high quality printouts at a larger scale. Once I've scanned it in and brought it into Photoshop, the first thing I do is change it back to 300 dpi and then adjust the levels. By adjusting the levels, I can make sure that my darkest darks and brightest whites actually have a good level of contrast. From there, I use the quick select tool to individually select each of the color blobs and put them on their own layer on a 10 by 10 inch canvas that I could then bring into Procreate to start drawing. Once I got it into Procreate, I took some time to create a texture layer that would help my digital artwork to feel cohesive with the gouache blobs underneath. I used a combination of different paper textures on a linear light adjustment layer. I could have scanned in a piece of the watercolor paper that I made the original blobs on, but instead I used some paper textures from Max Ulichny's paper pack. I'll link that and all of the brushes that I use in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the rest of the video.
Thank you.